Uh, before we get cracking on today's podcast, we have a message here from our mates at Game Day Squad. You love women's fantasy footy? Women's Aussie Rules Fantasy has officially launched a Game Day Squad. It's free to play, create, coach and compete for weekly prizes. Open your free player packs weekly. It's fun, it's free, it's easy. Register now at gamedaysquad.com.au. DT's all right with me. DT's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Uh, coach of the Warn Dogs. And Calvin. Coach Calvin Ata. And I'm not looking forward to this, Calvin Ata. No, lid on it, Roy. Lid. There's no lid. Lid. Oh. It's off. It is off. Oh, boy. <laughs> big weekend coming up. And we're coming off a big weekend as Huge. well. Huge. Blues just held on for they a They did. They, had, they got their nerves out of the way. They will... Beat Melbourne this week. Yes. Yes, you agree? I think so. Cow said it here. Have you seen his punting record? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a very good week either. <laughs> Didn't any. you? No. Nah. Uh, you have those every now and then. Um, but yes, dog, you are right. The Blues were lucky to hold on. I think they're better for it. And I think they will win this week. Anyway. And I also think there's a bit of fantasy. We're here to talk about fantasy footy. You're not yeah, relevant. Shit teams hey, finals. I'm not unprofessional like you. I'm not going to just <laughs> make it all about. The bombers and how you know. I'm not. I often wonder Dad, which are. one of you is worse. Dog oh, by him. a mile. No, it's no, easily no. Him. It's you, dog. Yeah, because there you it, go. he's got names. They yeah. actually got good players. You talk about like Jake Stringer <laughs> and, and trick people <laughs> and trick people. But we've got some names here, Roy. We do. We do. Any value? How Heaps. are we going to start? Well, look. Let's geez. just have. Look, I'm just going to be sensible. Okay. Is it like when you look at these guys yeah. off the top and you go? Mm, Doc, 105. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah. Obviously. No, and this 20 is very games. fair. This is very fair, Doc. Do you know what their averages are? See what you're looking at yeah. there. That is all value based on the way they started the season. Right. So did they become fantasy shitter as the team got better? They Because that's what happened. This is what the happened. The Blues season got better as the season went on. So they couldn't get a kick early and their scores reflected that. Yep. Second half of the year, most of them had a patch where we got a preview of what we're going to see next year, which makes me think a few people are underpriced. And the second highest scoring fantasy team behind they St were. Kilda. Yep. Yeah, right which there. makes it quite extraordinary when you look at your looking at dog. Because, mm. yes, I see what you're saying. No bona fide superstars from a scoring right. perspective, you would say. Except maybe. Probably has to be Doc, realistically. It's got to be Doc. That's the only one you can actually... Yes. Put on the is it everyone's pedestal. team? Whether that yeah. was at the start, yeah. when did he come out? Like about round two or three? Yeah, can't recall. What was, it? What was that? That would have been. I what that he's was. the only round three. I no, think. Suspe- what, what? Nah, it wasn't. It was an injury. Yeah, nah, it was round five. So round four was his last game. Yep. Yeah, he's the only guy that went over a hundred. Yeah. So, and we're putting him in the what a man because well we do love him. It's, oh yes, I um, love him. He was probably five points under what yep. we expected, yep. to be honest. Um, so there's a little bit of meat on the bone of the dock, I reckon. Yeah, there is. Yep. There is. Um, but if we – I don't know if I can do it under the superstar section, but they're guys, I think, that are going to elevate their game to a superstar scoring status next year. Well, let's talk about them. All right. Who have you got? Well, it's Adam Chera is one. Okay. He went on this 11-week stretch through the year to show why the Blues were so keen to get him there. Yep. It had been a rocky road until yeah. that point, to be honest. But we had always – no one had ever doubted how good he could be at his best. But we saw it for that extended stretch. So what did he average over that time? So he went at 110 between rounds mm. 6 to 17. Yeah. Right? That's 11 games. And then he gets injured. Yes. Okay, so that derails what he was it doing. Did, yeah. But an average of 110. Now, he ended up with a 97 next to his yeah. name. Yeah, which is – He'll definitely average triple figures yes, next year. I agree. Okay. Another guy in the same boat as this, and there's a little bit more to it, Sam Walsh. I'm yeah, interested. Yeah, so I'm interested here. Yeah, yes. and I think everyone will be. So he's coming off the um, a 95 he got to in the end, yep. and that's um, he had a 109 and a 103 previous to that. Yep. Okay. Mm. Now, we know that last year, or well, two years ago, he had the Cinders, yep. which he come back from. Like, like way quicker than yes, anyone's yes. ever come back from. <laughs> then last year, he had a sl- interrupted start to the season because he had back surgery. Spinal. It was spinal. Exactly. Spinal. So he missed that. I broke my he back. He missed that game. <laughs> my back is broken. <laughs> he missed that game versus the Pies. 
remember, yes. that they needed to win. Yeah. And then, so he didn't come in till I think it was round five or six, right? Yep. Round five it was. Now listen to these numbers. He's come in off spinal. Spinal. Right? Mm. We'd probably give him more leeway than when he come back from his Sindes. But he's gone 102, 131, 128, 109, 123, 90 and 112. Impressive. It's impressive, all right. Mm. And that's why people were like, stuff this spinal shit. I'm just getting yeah. him straight back in. Now, you were rewarded through that. If you went straight into him, 114 average in that time. Yeah. Okay. Now, the season seemed to catch up with him, it which did. when you think about it, it sort of makes sense. You can't maintain that off a serious Final. injury. So yeah. this is extreme for him as well. He didn't score 100 in his last eight games. Yeah, right. Mm. Now, do you know what that says to me? One thing and one thing only. Value. Yeah, okay. That I'm is huge you. value because that's not Sam Walsh. No, 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 no. That 114 average yeah. is Sam Walsh. Now, then we go to the elimination final. He was racking the pill, something chronic. Yep. Now, he ended up with 101 in what was quite a low-scoring game. So, if he's at 95 and previous years 109, 103, what could he be? He's a 110 the year he gets a good run at it, yeah, okay. which there's no reason it won't be next year. And the thing is, you know what a team's like after they win a flag? Everything opens up a little bit and players score a lot more. Yep. I got that through then, didn't I? <laughs> you did. <laughs> You're with me. Yeah, I'm with you. You're with me. So I just think next year, whether they win the flag or not, most likely <laughs> will, um, it is going to open up for these top-end guys, Chera and Walsh, next year. They're going to come in with swag, a bit more swag than they have in previous yep. years. And I think those two are going to be two that – have a good spike on what they're averaging. All right, now, next question I've you got for you. you genuinely think they'll win the flag? Yeah. <laughs> Roy, I've got a question for you. What? Now, <laughs> the second highest averaging player on their team yeah. with 98 was Nick Newman. Mm. So after his bye, yes. he went along at 110. Huge player of interest. Now, it's been... Can he keep that up? Yeah, yeah. he can because we've... Talked about him since his Sydney days. Remember we had him back then good. and yes. we said, that guy is built for fantasy yes, when he's he given the opportunity. Now, obviously the problem with him, he does and can get locked down roles. Yep. But that's after the bye, his role changed significantly and they were looking for him a lot and he was basically given a green light to get his ass into space and be that guy that's distributing out of the D50, which we traditionally used to Doherty doing. Yes. But Doherty yeah. moved up the ground. He was doing CBAs and wing time. Meanwhile, Newman yep. was lapping it up back there. So, yeah, he could be slightly underpriced. Because I looked if there was a correlation, if, the, if Doc dropped off because Newman yeah. stepped up, and there's nothing Pretty there. Pretty much the same. Yeah, Doc went at like 102. Yep. So yep. the role changed. Doc still did his thing yep. up at um, up a little a bit. bit higher. Yep. But, yeah. Newman got the opportunity to, yeah, mop all that up. Blues were pretty relevant too during yeah, the season for sure us. Yeah, sure were. <laughs> with a couple of players. Like we had <laughs> Hollands and Chincotta off the top, yes. like as rookies. Yeah. Like Cash Cowan. Like sort of yep. pushed through and like at different points mm. in the season they were, and like, even you pick them. Yeah, you dug a bit deeper. You found a little gem <laughs> too. <laughs> Could you have? My VFL fantasy team, Jackson Bins dominated. Bins, yeah, we'll talk about him. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, yeah, you're good. All right. All right. All right. I couldn't find one. No, I found one. Oh, did you? And this is where we just can't get... It's a bit harsh. It is harsh. Oh, yeah, it's harsh. I'm going Paddy Cripps. I can see why you're doing it. 88. You, and it is. this is probably a never again list thing. Every man has his price. However, yeah. you're going... Well, yeah. this is it. I so, don't know what I would pay for Paddy Cripps, well, realistically. Last and it year. well under 80. Yeah. But... To, Considering it would, but then again, we got him at a 90 last year. I know, and last, he dominated last he year. He went at 102, 102, yeah. yeah. And then the year, but a couple of years ago, he went 109, yeah. So, can he be 100? Well, if he is, he's gonna be priced at 88. Yeah. No, you just can't do it. He's not going to be the midfielder that's averaging 100. So, those better, newer bulls around him as well, yeah. That's sort of, the, yeah. And that was yeah. the guy I was going to talk about as well, would be George Hewitt, yeah, because oh, yeah. he, he became, was relevant, yeah, yeah, because he dropped off so much. Well, he had. He was cheap for us. He yeah. got injured yeah. early, and then he had vest, vest, Vesticles. vest on return, and his price was just so cheap for a for a genuine midfielder in an injury ravaged midfield. Yes, and his clock was there, and his scoring was great. He averaged probably a hundred over I a stretch for you. I think I counted it up here as well. There was like only six players from the Blues, Roy, who mm. played twenty games or more. Yeah, actually seven. Yeah, see, right. that's the ironic position they're in. 
They were so injury yeah. ravaged through the season. It's um, extraordinary. They're so all right now, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's too hard to have noticed. Cripper yeah. in that column. Who else would you have in that column as the uh, never again list? Uh, well, no. See, I'm not even being a cockhead here. Well, <laughs> you naturally, are. I <laughs> managed you to can't do that. help yourself. However, um, yeah, no one. Yeah. No one that we've ever talked about with fantasy relevance would go on the never again list. Well, let's think about 2024. <laughs> And the breakout names aren't even really breakout names. No, the guys not. that you're no. going to find some value. We talked plenty about Walsh. Walsh yep. yeah. He's one of them there. But a big discount will be Zach Williams with 30% off. And that's off for 70. So that'll price him at 49 yeah. next year. I think I footy record in value this year. Value this year. This year. <laughs> Problem is, in the last four what did years. What you do? Was it ACL? Is that what it was? Yeah. It was. Yeah. yeah. Um, over the last four years, he's played like 30 games. I know. It's extraordinary. Cannot yeah. get on the park. He can't. But, but if he that, does. At that price. Yeah. He obviously probably still has um, defender status as well. Yeah, he will. He's done nothing. So. No, so, he hasn't been out there to so, change that. So he's definitely one to keep an eye on. Now, your boy as For well sure. there, dog. Binzy. Binzy. Get well, him in the Binzy. The right? thing is, he was good in the VFL. Very good yeah, in the VFL. Yeah, great numbers. Um, but yeah. 117 he went at. In probably true, 17 games. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? So in true blue fashion, there's What some, do you do, though, like with him? Like, does he just stay out of the game? He must be a long like way he's, off. He's got to be. Yeah. So, he's emergency a lot of times. Well, there you Not go. Not that I was well, checking that every single week. <laughs> that I had him. In your defence, dog, he does get talked about in my circles. Does he? Your circles. What are your circles? Just little blue circles. Do you? Blue you would be in a oh, blue chat be group. Shit. So he does get he talked would be, about. He? he does get talked about in there. Oh. Not that I'm in there. Um, there's some high draft picks that currently aren't getting games for them. No, and I could some imagine. of them. Well, I used to be furious when they were drafted. Yep. I'd be like, "What are you thinking?" But the thing is, and it was predictable, but they are now down at basement price next yes. year. Okay. So if they hold any hope for them which I assume they do if they drafted them, yep. they might be some value there for our bench. Right, That's here's what I'm saying. Here's a breakout player for you, Roy. If he can get a game or if he can find a new team. Right. Dow, Dow, Paddy Dow, or Paddy Dow. Yeah. Now, Paddy Dow, yes. priced at 57. He played 10 games. Yeah. Five of them he was in the vest. Yes. So what does Cal traditionally do here? His vest. So well, he, he took all the vest scores out <laughs> Good in the five games where he got out of the vest. Yeah. He averaged 80. Paddy would like you. He'd like to sit down and He talk would. To you. He would have a great <laughs> chat. But that'd be it. That'd be a conversation over. But that's I wouldn't have thing. much else to say. <laughs> he, look, he was great when he played. Yeah. Um, if but, he, look, he's he, not getting if in. he's not getting a game throughout the finals, he's not playing there next year. That no. will be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And other clubs saw that he could play this year when yep. given that opportunity. So, yep. yes, if he is thrown into someone's midfield, yep. you could have a look. You could have I'll give a you look. that. You could have I a don't look. hate Paddy. I don't hate Paddy. But 57. You know what? It's, no, look, let's be honest. We're not touching it. All right. No, all right. Hey, you know someone we will at some stage? Who? Tom DeConning. Yeah, what are they he, doing with the pit bull? He signed for a shitload of years. Didn't yeah, he? yeah. I'm, I'm talking down the track if we're still doing our job. Didn't he sign for like five years? Pino. No, nah, it was decent, wasn't it? <laughs> no. Tom's a good ruck. Transitioning yeah, into ruck coach, surely, Pino. Signed. He's no Matthew Cruz. Ten's a new deal. Four years. Whoa! Well, under his management, we need to talk to them. <laughs> Let's get their one so they can sit down <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, Negotiate our contract. I don't know how much it was for. Yeah, I know. He's on there for a bag of mixed lollies. Big Mac meal? Medium <laughs> only? I hot, don't know. Hot pie at half time. <laughs> you bet it. <laughs> no, but hey, I am a fan of Pino, but Oh, yeah. To Conning, he's like someone... You want, you, you saw him in that last quarter when all the others were yeah. choking. He took a couple of great marks. Yep. Good mm. player. Mm. Yeah. All right, there it is. There it is. The Blues. Well done, Roy. Trying to get some... Uh, Professional. You did well then. How many cars do you own of the Blues on a game day squad? Everyone I can get my hands on. Yeah. <laughs> and you just play them on yeah, your field. Yeah, bloody hell, I do. Because you've got to put your best players out there. Uh, Second highest fantasy scoring team, right? Yeah. No, I roll them out, dog. Don't if you, you want to that. throw any lines out in the transfer market, yeah. just throw them probably I will trade or purchase. <laughs> what about uh, what about Paddy Dow? You oh, look, I don't, I'm going to be sensible with Paddy. I don't think he'll be a blue next year, so oh. he's not high on my radar. Yeah, right. Mm. You've parted away. But if he yeah. goes somewhere else, he Paddy, should be on your point, radar. Good point. Good there you go. All right, there's the Blues. Good luck to the Blues. No, I don't mean hey, they that. Don't need oh, why it. would I even say that? I oh, know, they don't need it. Don't wish them luck. They do not need it.
Attention footy fans. Have you ever played fantasy football? Fantasy footy is taking the world by storm and here's your chance to play for free. Create, coach, compete in fantasy footy for free with Game Day Squad. Open free new player packs each week. Sign up to coach, build your team, trade players, bench injured or unfit players, upgrade rookies. It's your fantasy team. Play your best team. Become the ultimate fantasy footy coach. It's fun, it's free, it's easy. Register now for free at gamedaysquad.com.au.